Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel and we're back again with another Fairfield Friday. Yes, these are from, they are made from Fairfield, don't get confused. That's why they're Fairfield Fridays and I, it, they're hot corner box. Um, I am your host, the Honorable Greg B and it is Friday so you know what that means. It's almost time for the weekend but also it's a uh, time to open another hot corner box. And uh, this is the fourth one, as you can see by my lovely handwriting. Uh, and uh, I, I don't know if it's going to be a different from the previous three so far. We did have a little bit of difference last time. Spoiler alert. If you haven't watched them, go back and watch right now. Go, go check it out. Go watch it. Go watch. Go watch. Go watch. Um, but uh, we did have a little bit of difference in the third box. Um, so I got these from Amazon.com and Target.com. So we opened an Amazon one. No, we opened one. First one was Target, then Amazon. Last week was Target again. This week's another Amazon one. So, I don't know. Are we going to get Arquez? Are we going to get uh, Stadium Club? Are we going to get all the same other ones? I don't know. We'll find out. And um, let's just dive into it right now. Actually, before we get to that, I always say this at the end, but I'm going to say it at the beginning this time, To Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe right now. Every Friday, you can come back and watch me open one of these boxes until I run out of them or whatever. Uh, but hit that subscribe button. Hit the little button or the bell. The bell's going to tell you it's, ha it's there, and it's going to be right there. Bang. Hit the like button, or the on the dislike button if you don't like these videos. I mean, that's fine, too. But then if you don't like it, pop down in the comments below and tell me what you don't like about this. I mean, it's hot corner box. It's me talking about baseball players and stuff. It's crazy. It's great. Um, and also, share. Share it. Share it with everyone you know. Everyone you've ever met in your entire life. Even people you've never met. Even people you don't know who they are, just just tell them to check out the video. Like walk walk down the street and be like, "Hey, check out these videos. Check out this YouTube page. It's amazing." Even if you don't think so, like just lie, just blatantly lie to people. Like it's amazing, and it's like, "Oh, that wasn't that. It was, it was fine. I don't know if it was amazing, but it's okay." All right. Anyways, uh, let's just dive into this. I'll try not to spoil the hits. They always kind of fall out, and I'm always like, "Yeah, did I spoil?" And uh, let's see what we got. Um, packs in there look very similar to, to the usual bunch of packs we get, but it could be something different. Uh, and try not to spoil the hits. I think there's a, is there, did the second one come out? Uh, all right, I don't know. Oh, we got series one. Well, that's a kind of a downer. We want series two, not series one. So, meh. And then we got fire. Tops Fire. I've never even heard of Tops Fire, so that's interesting. And we got 88 Donners, because we always get 88 Donners. And then I'm guessing this is Pinnacle 2013. Yes, it is. Yep. You always got these ones. So, all right. This one's a little bit of a dud box then. We didn't get Series 2. We got Series 1. But you never know. Could be something good in there. Could be something good in all these, except for probably this. Because, I mean, the best card we can get out of this is... The Glavin, I'm assuming. But we already got the Alomar. So hopefully we can get the Glavin. And, you know, it's always fun to look at these old cards and all the cool players from back in the day. Um, and the Stan Musial uh, puzzle piece is going to be great when I put the whole set together. Ozzy Gein, I was just talking about him last time because Tom Bernanski, which was in the pack, was that last time? Was that last week or was that two weeks ago? I don't I can't even keep track anymore. Hit that ball down the line. Tom Bernanski out of nowhere, the diving catch. The Red Sox won the 1990 uh, AL East. I mean, they got destroyed by the A's, so it didn't end up mattering, but whatever. Willie Frazier, Neil Heaton, uh, Gene Nelson, Brooke J Jacoby, uh, Dan Jackson, Ken Howell, Rich Gedman, Red Sox player. Um, I remember him, catcher. He was backing up for Tony Pena, maybe. I, thought, uh, I forget. Yeah. Maybe it, no, I don't think Pena was on the team yet. Who was their other catcher? I forget. Whatever. Uh, Rick Rudin, Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. Uh, Juan Nieves, Eric Bell, Richard Dotson, John Franco, who played for like ever, and Jack Clark. I remember him on the Red Sox as well. I, bet. So I remember seeing him in a home run one time. Th that one time. <laughs> as a Red Sox. That was pretty much it. All right. Uh, we got 2013 uh, Pinnacle uh, Hobby Box or Hobby Pack. Um, I don't know. I don't really know if there's anything good in in these. I got that cool like acetate like Clayton Kershaw thing last time. I mean, if you haven't watched those videos, go back and watch them. Go back and watch the other Fairfield Friday videos and all my videos. Go watch all my videos. 
why are you watching my videos? I mean, you're watching this one right now as I'm saying that because otherwise, why would you have heard it? But you should watch all the other ones too. Uh, all right, let's just dive in. And I swear at some point I will do other things besides opening baseball cards. I promise there'll be hockey cards and football cards and basketball. And there'll be other things other than cards opening. I trust me, it's, it will happen eventually. Uh, I got plenty of other stuff I can show off on my channel. Um, and I have before. I opened the mystery boxes. I got more mystery boxes coming. All right, Jeff Samarja, uh, Jim Johnson. We got Curtis Granderson, Jay Bruce. We got an insert card here of Jack Morris, another Hall of Famer. We just saw him in the 88 Donruss. Waiting the call. He wasn't in yet? In 2013? What year did he go in the Hall of Fame? I guess it was after 2013, but I don't remember what year it was, but obviously he had long since done playing. George Brett, he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, Sterling Castro, not quite. And a uh, rookie card of Henry M. Rodriguez. Uh, not the Henry Rodriguez I remember. Um, but, uh, that's why he's Henry M. Rodriguez. But, um, oh, Henry, right? Um, all right, so then we got, I guess we'll do, I don't, I don't know if there's anything good in fire. I, I'm not familiar with the fire product, that one, that eludes me. I'm not quite sure, but let's do, yeah, let's just save that one, I guess. We'll do the top series one, 2019. I don't even know who's in the set. Uh, we got Luke Weaver, Jeff McNeil. Oh, Jeff McNeil. Okay, that's a solid one. He had a pretty good year last year, rookie year. I mean, obviously, he was overshadowed by Pete Alonso. Had a little bit better of a year, but uh, still, he had a solid year. Um, Chance Adams. We got Ramon Lariano. It's, that's a solid rookie card, too. Uh, he had a pretty good year. Evan uh, Irvin Santana. Uh, Brandon Lau. He's another rookie. He's all right. Uh, Houston uh, Astros Stadium, where the trash cans are plentiful, and the Royal Rumble actually was there. WWE Royal Rumble was there um, uh, this past January. So there you go. They've got a rainbow foil of Bookie Pets, league leaders. Well, now he's switching leagues, so I don't know if he'll lead anymore, but we'll see. Uh, Edwin Diaz, Stars of the Game card. Then we got some more Astros hitting um, Dominic Dy dynamic duo is just hitting trash cans left, left and right. Blake Snell, Colin Moran, Brandon Nimmo, Paul DeJong, Josh Hader. Yeah, Josh Hader. Why did I think he... Never mind. Okay, that was the last episode. I got a Josh Hader, like, throws an immaculate ending card or whatever it was. And David Bote. So, a couple good rookies, though. Jeff McNeil and, and um, Brandon Lau. It's not a, not a terrible pack for Series 1. I mean, it wasn't the series we are necessarily looking for, um, but still. And now we got the this fire pack. I mean, it's literally burning my hands. It's so, it's so, it's so fire. Uh, but let's look at the, let's look at these, uh, these uh, sweet, sweet autograph cards. We got Josh Willingham and Corey Schaefer from uh, Bowman's Best in 2003. Yeah, 2003. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Josh Willingham, I've heard of, I think. Corey Schaefer, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the hits in these aren't exact, exactly amazing. Um, but whatever. Autograph cards are cool, right? And then we got this fire. We got six cards, 2019 Tops Fire. I don't know if there's any good rookies in this set. I, again, I don't really know anything about Fire. I don't, I'm not even sure when it came out. I'm not even sure what like the deal is with it. It's Kyle Ripken Jr., so there we go. Hall of Famer. Uh, Jake Arrieta. And then we got this uh, little foil whatever card of Luis Severino. Uh, then we got Upton. Uh, Justin Upton? Yes. I was like, it's not BJ Upton. He has stopped playing. He's not named BJ anymore. He's boss man or whatever. <laughs> Oh, uh, Elvis Andrus and Braun Strowman. No, um, Marcus Strowman. Not Braun Strowman. Sorry, I've been watching some wrestling lately. Um, yeah, nothing amazing out of that. I, I guess these are, are these lower end cards. I mean, I'm not even sure what the deal is with fire. Ah, yeah. Um, there we go. Hot, another hot box. A little disappointing this time around. Didn't get that, uh, 2012, uh, 2012, 2019 Series 2 is what I was trying to say. We didn't get that Series 2 pack in this 
box. Uh, we got the Series 1. But, um, yeah, what are you going to do? But anyways, like I said before, hit that subscribe button, the bell, share, hit the like, leave a comment, whatever. And whatever you do, don't miss next week's Fairfield Friday box because it's going to probably be exactly the same or somewhat similar that the other ones have been. But maybe we'll pull something cool. I don't know. But you'll find out next week when you return to the page, the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel, and check it out. Have a great weekend.